Okay, I'd like to talk to you briefly about uh, a tool in Sketch Engine called um, Sketch Difference, which can help you disambiguate uh, words for this assignment and uh, for future ones as well, in future research. So let's say you run a query like uh, cold, and you get your, your quick screen here, the keyword in context, and then you want to know, okay, well, what words go with cold, and how does it differ from other adjectives similar to it? Well, you click on Sketch Difference, and you put in your lemma, cold, in this case, make sure that you choose this part of speech, or else you get cold as in uh, getting sick, and then your second lemma that you want to compare it to, hot, and then you click on show difference. And what this will do is we'll show you a gradients in collocation. So uh, all the words that are in green go with cold, all the words that are in red go with hot, and there's a little bit of shading in between, and the ones in white go with both. <clears throat> so you see that, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, hot and humid and red and red hot and hot and sticky uh, hot and sweaty they go together not cold and sweaty or cold and humid obviously and likewise in the other end of the spectrum you'll get uh, cold and freezing and cold and hungry and cold and clammy and not hot but <clears throat> you do have a neutral ground which is uh, hot and dry cold and dry and uh, even some a little bit of uh, shading in between where uh, cold and sunny might might work but usually it's hot and tends to be hot and sunny and um, and even uh, hot and cold or um, a rather uh, uh, yeah hot and wet but uh, it tends to be uh, uh, collocate with cold what you have here are statistics to do with uh, mutual information log likelihood um, and t-score and we'll be getting to those statistics a little bit later in the course but that's those are some of the drivers of this of how you, this is organized and then you have other modifiers and other word classes here now those are two very different adjectives and what's what's another thing that's interesting about sketch difference is that it can show you how two word forms that seem to be very similar are, are actually not that that synonymous. So you have something like uh, tall and high, which um, ostensibly might seem, at least superficially, very similar. But when you do the sketch difference, you see that those white areas are few and far between, um, mostly to do with just metrics here. But in general, with with uh, coordination and modification, it's it's really one or the other. So you, obviously you can see that you have um, a relatively <clears throat> high, unacceptably high, consistently high, excessively high, but not excessively tall, uh, unacceptably tall, etc. Like and conversely, you'll have <clears throat> tall and muscular, and tall and lean, and tall and handsome, but not high and handsome. Right? high and lean. And I'm reason, I mean, the reason I'm showing you all this right now obviously is for the assignment to do with DIM. And what a little hint I can give you is to put DIM in here and think of an adjective which goes with it and see what you get. And I think you'll be surprised or at least you find it interesting the differences between those, those two adjectives and their collocational behavior. All right, good luck.